There's a lot of stylistic influences. I mean, there's New Orleans. You gotta run. There's some Memphis. Get out this town. Maybe a little bit of Chicago blues in there. If you don't, she'll bring you down. I come from a musical family. My mother was a gospel singer. She sang uh, like Mahalia Jackson or Clara Ward. My father was a blues man, like B.B. King or Muddy Waters. I really love all forms of music. We talked for hours, and you confessed your fear. I was on a blues cruise with Curtis Salgado. My mom had told me about this singer that I had to meet. And so when she told me that, I was like, okay, yeah, right. She has a son that plays music. Well, turns out the son that she was talking about played music with a guy called Curtis Salgado, and we met on the blues cruise. Would we be sitting here drinking and thinking about what might have been? Earl's respected around the world. He brings absolutely that blues authenticity. You know, he is an amazing blues singer. I wanna love you, but I can't right now. To hear him be able to perform just so well and so authentically is, is very powerful. came to me with a couple of songs. I said, I can't record this song, it's too good. I said to him, I don't know why you're playing this blues game. You should be on Broadway. This love feels right to me. Earl kept convincing me of this Broadway aspect of it. And we just started having a conversation about combining blues and Broadway. We call it the Blues Cabaret, and we're doing it in a different way. The stars, or was it just tagged on the wall? Earl said, you know, we need some, like, background singers. And he says, yeah, actually, I do know some singers. Billy Mixer and Jimmy Wilcox. Man, those singers are amazing. Let's get them involved. And the three of us together are a force to be reckoned with. It can get lonely on the road. I come from a traditional opera background, and I find myself relating to this music more so than any other music I've ever sung. The more I live, the less I believe in. I write the songs. I write the chord progressions. I write the melodies. I say, this is the general idea. Now it's time for you to bring your thing to it. Every moment we We know the stories behind all these songs and we know how real they are. The more I live, the less I believe in, I believe in I laughed and I cried when I wrote these songs, and it's been amazing to see the audiences do that too. Dave has taken all these different genres, elements from Broadway, elements from blues, elements from jazz, elements from pop, and taken them all and put them into the blues form. The music should always touch the spirit, and that's the brilliance of Dave Fleshner's writing, is that he covers the gamut of human emotion in these songs. They say that history Blues Cabaret represents the blues of today, the 21st century blues. I feel you slip and I believe it's a game changer. Hey.